Well, I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Lorcan Lines, the captain of Mona Lean. What's it like today? Absolutely unbelievable. I suppose never my wildest dreams that I think I'd never look, win a Munster medal with my club, that alone captain. So it's a bit, it's going to take a long time for this one to sink in, I think. Yeah, the match was really tense. The first half, it was nip and tuck. And then the start of the second half, you got a couple of points and pushed on with a good lead. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit frantic there in the first half. You know, they've loads of pace, loads of accuracy, dangerous forward. So we just knew we needed to keep a hold of them. And it was kind of point for point like that. But yeah, like the start, we knew the first 10 minutes would be very important in coming into the second half. So we're happy now we got a few frees and a few great scores in place. So it's brilliant to kick on and give us a bit of a cushion because there's a little bit of a breeze there too against us. Marco Dwyer was on form there. He was hitting points galore there. I think it was 15 he finished with in total. Unbelievable. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me one bit now, Mark. He's been doing it all year for us and even the last couple of years. He's an absolute marksman and it'll, it'll take a good bit of stuff to stop him. So, yeah. for us, we'd like to have him on our side. <laughs> Everyone contributed. Andrew Latouche, Cosgrave, unbelievable as well. You know, Adal, like the whole lot of them, everyone chipped in. Yeah, exactly. Everyone stood up. Even the stuff you don't see, the work right off the ball. There's plenty of lads. Everybody played very well today. I'm actually delighted for everybody inside in that dressing room. What was uh, Owen Brisland saying to you? Of course, he's from Tipperary and he was delighted to beat uh, Rosgrave. Yeah, look, same thing all year. Do you know, we kind of know what makes us, us tick and like we've done brilliant characters in that room. And it's about just showing that, expressing that in the day. We've, we've worked hard since February, March, so it's on a day like today, it's important that you get to express it and really come to fruition. Yeah, it was a tough game going down the home straight, though, because Rosgrave were going for goals and the backs had to hold firm. Yeah, exactly. We knew if we just kept tight to a few other dangerous fellas, they're very good at running off the ball. So if we kind of had the, there's an extra kind of body there as well, so hopefully that we kind of eliminate any goal threat or a significant goal threat. Um, they did get a few shots off, and we'll probably get to work on that again over the next two weeks. So, look, we'll we'll build that. We'll enjoy today, and we'll build on it again. You'll have good crack now. The dressing room is rocking in there, is it? Yeah, I suppose that's similar to the county final. Like we have a great day, great day planned out. So we left early this morning, and we'll probably go. I think it's a bit, a bit, I suppose that's the beauty of it being in Cork. You have a bit of a journey home and like a bit of crack on the way, so can't wait for it. Yeah, and um, Munster winners now. You move on, and you start thinking of Crow Park and the semi final first. Yeah, exactly. One step at a time. Another another step on the journey. So, look, we'll prepare. We don't know who we're facing yet. So, I suppose we'll just look forward to meeting that challenge head on now when we get back to the back to train field. Will you be let keep the Limerick jerseys? I doubt. I'd say they'll, they'll be back straight away now by the time we get onto the bus. <laughs> <laughs> You'll try anyway. I <laughs> know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll be happy to wear them only.